all of us, we have to grow. Yeah. If you if you aren't pushing yourself, you're not going to grow, and your all your success is always going to be limited. Exactly. So you really need to step out and do different things. Mum to millionaire.com. So for the people watching this who have never been to the meetup before, why should they come to the next one on the 5th of July? Oh, definitely. You must come. Apart from the fact that it's been hosted by the most beautiful, amazing, energetic person, Bina V. Because, you know, one of the things... Oh, so yeah, she is. Because, you know, when you when the idea of networking scares lots of people, but when you know that yeah. the person who is hosting it is a friendly person, Already half the battle is won. And then you come in. And she's say, also scared of networking. Yeah. And then she's so <laughs> welcoming. You know, she's so welcoming. She's like, hi. And she treat you like, you know, she's known you forever. So that is so important. And then after that, you know, you then come in and then you're met with lots of amazing women with smiles on their face, also wanting to welcome you in. You know, it is the best place to come and get the support you need to grow your business and to grow as a person and to, you know, it be inspired. Because that's the thing, you know, Vina brings on speakers yeah. that can inspire you through their own journey of running a business, of being the women that they are. So you basically, it's a win-win come along. It's win-win situation. <laughs> win-win for everyone. Win -win and I think what's everyone. great about Mum to Millionaire, everyone that comes on the podcast, the YouTube channel that comes to the meetups. Yes. It's all about being realistic That's and right. real and honest because there's so many amazing business sites out there and they yes. are all fabulous to motivate us, inspire us. Definitely. But I feel as women, people aren't talking enough about the realistic side of running a business, especially if you've got kids. Exactly. And even if you don't have kids, just being a woman in general. Yes. Like, we're not making this up. It is actually difficult. <laughs> exactly. And people are not talking about the challenges that you face as well. Because, you know, in the workplace, um, in a corporate environment, whatever environment it is, you know, naturally, women tend to be either pitted against each other, you know, vying for yeah. one position. And there's lots of women vying for it. And men don't seem to kind of go through that, you know. And women are always having to yeah. prove their worth. And then when you're in business on your own, you don't have a soundboard. So that's another problem. So what I find with yeah. your group is, one, you're not being pitted against anyone. Because when you walk in, you're already, uh, you know, you're already successful in your own right because you took action. And, you know, one of the things I love about, like, fitness teaches you is about to accept or count your small successes, you know, enjoy each yeah. success, each milestone. So you lost a pound, woo, celebrate that. So... Coming to yeah. an event like this already makes you a success because you've taken some action. You thought about it and now you've done it. And so you're in a room with exactly. like-minded women that also want you to succeed. It's the best place to be. Come thing, along. Everyone that, exactly, come along. But everyone comes, everyone's supportive of each other. And the most amazing yeah. thing as well, everyone's at different stages. So some of us yes. have done our business for a few years, some a couple of months, some haven't started yeah. their business yet, but they're coming and they're doing the right thing. As Faye, you just said, they're coming to get that support. That's when fun. you start your business, and I wish I did, did this when I first started. Me too. Is get in a group, is get in a group with people who are just starting their business or who have been in business for a few years yeah. and get that support. And I think inspiration is a big thing as well. Yeah. Get motivated. Yes. And I think you and Vanessa, Vanessa's going to be coming on this video in just a second for our part, post party. Um, both you and Vanessa. <laughs> both you and Vanessa totally inspired the ladies yesterday in different ways and Again, the thing you both have in common, you both have that ambition, you're both really supportive of other women, and you've got these stories that can inspire other women. If you and Vanessa can do it, so can other people. You, that's right, that's right. And you know what was great as well? I'm looking at something Laboshi just said, because Laboshi says, why is it that the event is always at a time I can't make? So I'm excited to see that the next day is in the summer, so I can sort out babysitting for the kids. And I was just about to say that what's also great about the event as well yesterday was the fact that Vina stepped outside of her comfort zone and tried something different, you know, and, you know, someone like Laboshi who wants to come, you're going to get the opportunity to come in July because she's trying her best to make sure that she meets everyone's needs, you know, the best way she can. Exactly. 
taking into consideration the challenges of being a single parent. So, guys, yeah. I would say sometimes the things that you want is not always convenient, okay? But it's about how much you want something, okay? How much do you want your life exactly. to change? And how much do you want to grow? If you want to grow and you want your life to change, don't wait for everything to be stacked up in a nice, you know, line for you. It won't always exactly. be like that. But if you've got it in your mind that I want to grow and I want to grow as a person, I'm going to make the effort. Just say to yourself, I'm going to make the effort. And before you know, things will just fall into place because you've, you've said it to yourself and you've put it out there in the universe. And so it's going to line exactly. up for that time. And that is the key thing. Again, what Faye said there is about growth. Yes. I've done the meetups now for a few, um, I think there's been five or six we've had it at yes. Barking and Dagenham in two yes. different venues. So to be comfortable, I could have just done it again there. It's easy for me to get yes. to. I'm all the way in Essex. So Central yes. London's not down the road for me. But exactly. I thought, let me push myself. Let me choose a brand new venue. I don't know the people there. I don't know who's going to come. In a way, it was a bit of a risk. It was a risk. I thought, is anyone from East London going to want to come? Yeah. Into Central. It's all time.